Hey guys, Dr. Shannon Irvin here, wanting to jump on talking all about a neural hack that will help you push past fear and sabotage in your business. If we don't know each other, my name is Dr. Shannon Irvin, and I help entrepreneurs train their brain to transform their business where you can truly start to remove the limiting beliefs that have been holding you back from the thing you know you were meant to do in this world. I love that I have so many amazing go-getters in my tribe that are trying to build businesses, trying to do the thing they know they're called to do. And one of the biggest things that I hear that is getting in the way is fear and what comes on the other side of that is sabotage, right? We get close to what we want to do. We start to take action. We start to move into something and our brain wants to shut us down because our brain is wired as we've been learning and as you've been hearing, it's really wired to keep you safe and keep things familiar, not to help you build a profitable business. And the key I think is really one of the things that I've been using with my clients for so long now, and that is rewiring, tapping into these neural hacks and truly removing the network in your brain that will lead you to fear, will lead you to sabotage, lead you to procrastination and start to build the network in your mind, in your brain that will lead you to the success that you're wanting to have. And here's the thing. This neural hack is something that I've used for about 15, maybe more years now that has gotten great results and it is not complicated. It is not something that uh, only I can do. This is something if you start to apply it today, will will start to break free from so many things that you want in your life, in your business. Here's the thing. Most people won't do this. And so this is uh, something that I'm is real actionable live for you today. It's called the power of five. I learned this from um, Jack Camfield a uh, long time ago and uh, started to put it to work um, way back. I actually want to say it was even before I was uh, running restaurants. And it was really this idea that what you want is on the other side of fear, right? It's what you're looking to do is gonna be on the other side of fear and safety, procrastination, sabotage. So instead of focusing on those things, because we do know that if you focus on those things, they grow, right? So the the power of five or, or the, the five principle is this, you will think of the thing that you really wanna have happen in your life or in your business. And you are going to take five steps toward getting a no from somebody that day. So here's a great example. Um, one of the people that I coach offline uh, is an author and he's somebody that uh, is, is gone from five to six to now eight figure business. And that author was, uh, when I met him, he was just, you know, he wasn't getting traction with his book. He wasn't getting movement. He wasn't getting it on any of the bestseller lists and he was getting discouraged and I just had him apply. Well, I went through the neuro coaching with him, got him removing the limiting beliefs, but then I had him uh, apply this power of five just to his book. So what I really challenged him to do was to go in and every single day to go reach out to five new people and ask them to um, publish his book. And he was self-published and wanted to get a publisher. So five things, five publishers every single day. And I really wanted to encourage him to go for the no, like go for the no. And what I mean by that is you're never going to get the thing that you want on the side of not asking for it, on the side of not doing anything for it. And the reality is this power of five is so powerful because if you think about it, it's that consistency in going after the thing that you want, even when there's not evidence of it coming to pass, that really starts to get you momentum going in it. And so the thing I want you to do is to really think about the one thing you want to put out in the world. 
And if it's like, for him it was a book, so he needed to go to publishers. For you it might be something different, but who, who are you reaching out to in your circle that is, is helping you get your message and your mission out, right? And so he started to get, you know, he, he, he never was used to putting it out there. And so he got his list of a hundred different publishers and he just started down the list. And every day he did five. If he felt great, he did more. If he felt horrible, he still did five every single day. And he got turned down by 112, I think it was total, no's. He got no's. But it was that, I think it was his 114th try, he got a yes. And I can't really talk about who it is, but let's just say the book is a massive bestseller. And so that's the power of five. It's going after the thing that you want. And guess what? Here's the illusion. The illusion is we're going to get to this euphoric state and we won't feel fear and we won't feel like we want to procrastinate and we won't feel. That's not true. What is true is the prize goes to the one that keeps going that keeps trying, that keeps putting their dream, their vision, their greatness out there. And you know, one of the biggest questions I get about my podcast, the Epic Success Podcast all the time is, how on earth did you get all these people on your podcast? It's the power five, power five. Every single day, I would reach out. I would reach out to these people that I have impacted me, infected me in some way. And I got a lot of no's. I got a lot of no's. And I kept going back to those same people. And I got a lot of no's. But guess what? I started getting some yeses. And those yeses helped other yeses. And other yeses helped this yes. But it, if I would have given up on my podcast, if I would have stopped reaching out to people that were way, like way above where I was in terms of online space. And it's funny because people are really more generous than you realize. And so we're, we sit on this side of fear and we think I can't possibly ask that person or I can't possibly do that thing or I can't possibly collaborate with that person. And we never ask and we keep stuck in that safety and familiar, but nowhere near where we want to be. But this neuro hack really just pushes you into action and it's just five people. So you sit down. The key to this is sitting down with a piece of paper and writing down a hundred. And then when you get up in the morning, you go for your five, get them. Just, and I would tell him, do them right away because as the day goes, that, that fear muscle is just going to increase. So just Go, do it, and do your five, and then you'll get no's. Like, expect no's. Like, this illusion that you won't fail, that you can just, you're just gonna put your magical unicorn thing out there, and everybody's gonna just jump on it. It's an illusion, it's not real. It, it, the, the reality is, you start to draw, and you start to attract. It's this universal law of attraction where you really do start to draw to you as you believe more in what you are putting out there, the world believes more in what you're putting out there. And that's why the power of five is so powerful because each time you go out, each time you become, even though they're saying no, you become more and more convinced and more and more passionate and more and more driven. And guess what? The fear goes away. And you, even though you're getting no's or you'll get a maybe, and then it'll give you that light. It'll give you that energy. But here's what it gives you. It gives you practice talking about your calling and practice talking about your vision. And that is the key. That is the key right there. As you get it out there, as you energetically believe in it more, and as you energetically go out and, and put it out to the world more and more and more, that is when all of a sudden, and again, you can't predict it, you can't put it in any formula, you can't make sure you have the perfect strategy outside of yourself to make sure that the right, right matrix works. You gotta let go of the how, and you gotta really lean into the idea that it will come when you truly have put it out to the level that you 100% believe it, and that's when things start clicking for you. And yes, he got the yes. And yes, you can look at the podcast and see amazing human beings that have been on the podcast. Is it because I'm a special you know, unicorn? No, it's because I embody this power of five. I embody it. I embody it with my mentors. I embody it with my podcast. I'm, I embody it with my clients. And it really is a neural hack that if you apply it, and you don't let the nose scare you away from what you 
your vision is for, from that big thing and that big calling. And the only way to really push that on a daily basis is not have your calling be about you. You know, not have your calling be about you and your business, but flip that to where your calling is so much about the people that it's going to serve, that it becomes something that's so outside of you and so about other people that you get so driven by the fact that people aren't going to get access to this unless you get a yes. And so you got to keep going and you got to keep going. People give up this close to gold. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of the California miners here, uh, not very far from here. I took my kids there last year where we could went and toured through a mine and we could see the gold veins in the mine. And it was really, really interesting. But the whole place that we went there was based around this particular person that found gold, struck a little bit of gold, but not enough, you know, not a huge amount, but struck a little bit of gold. Very similar to what we do when we start our businesses, especially online. We get a little bit of traction and we feel like, okay, here we go. We're, we're getting there, but we don't keep at it. We don't keep at it. Well, this guy, he mined for a while. He kept going, like he kept trying, he kept trying, but instead of continuing with that power of five, instead of continuing in there, he actually gave up. He, now he had mortgaged, everything to build like a like a mining equipment so all of that is there he got some enough to keep him on but not enough to make him wealthy and when they went and did a survey and actually got into the uh the mine itself and started really picking in he was one quarter of an inch away from the biggest gold mine in all of california and it was the person that came in behind him that only had to go a quarter inch that became the wealthiest californian known to man um and it was all because the person that forged the way that, that really went in there and, and went for it, but stopped short because he, he got tired and he didn't, he just didn't believe in the mission anymore. So I don't want you to stop a quarter inch from gold. Like, I don't want that for you. I want you to recognize that the mission and the vision that you have, that you, that you're driven by, pull it to where it's bigger than you. It's more about the impact and really use this neural hack because what happens in your brain when you start to use this neural hack is you start building a bridge to a hundred percent belief and you start less you, you stop feeding the neural network in your brain that is telling you that it's not going to work, that is, that is telling you that the, the fear is going to be the thing that's, that's going to lead the day. It's really, really amazing when you start to apply this small little neural hack and then just get outside of it. It's five every day. So it depends on the situation. If you're needing podcast interviews, it's going out and asking five more people every single day. If you're, if you've got a book, it's, um, going to five more publishers to get your book published. If you're a coach, it's putting your services out there to five people on direct message that you think might really want your services. It's really putting yourself out there to the people that you know really need what you have and doing it consistently at least five every single day without fail. There's something that I, I'm telling you, it's magic because here's, you know, you really are starting to lean into the first one, you're scared, right? And you put it out there and they say no. and if you let the no's become evidence for why you shouldn't put it out there, then you'll, you'll slide back into the 97% that come a quarter inch from the gold, but never continue and keep going and miss it. But if you just say, no, I, I'm going to, I'm going to use this neural hack. I'm going to, I'm going to use it. I'm going to do five every day, no matter what happens, the results that come from it, it's, it really, the, the five that you do every day, it's really not about those. Yes, eventually you're gonna get the yes, but it's really not about those. It's about who you're becoming as you show up every day and you put your mission and your vision out to at least five people that you know you can help or that you know will help your people or you know whichever it is. But I'm, I wanna encourage you to like, don't, don't, the results in the day don't matter because who you become in that process 
matters so much more than any yes you might get. And I don't want you to do this. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to like do the logical thing where you are playing small, like you're gonna making a list that you kind of think you can get, and then the bigger list. I want you to list everybody together and just start. Just start with five. And if you're gonna trick yourself that way, then mix in a couple people that you feel comfortable with ask, asking or talking to, to with three that you feel like, oh my gosh, they're huge, I couldn't possibly. I remember the first time I reached out to Michael Hyatt, I got a no from Michael Hyatt's team probably 10 times. And I was very strategic and I was always watching and I'm, you know, I just would watch, but then I'd turn back around. I mean, just keep going back at it because if you know what you do, really impacts people. If you know that it has something that it's going to make a difference for people, then you gotta, you gotta get past the fear and past all those self-protective, brain chemical driven things like sabotage, like perfectionism, like fear, all of those things that are your brain's way of saying, keep me safe, keep me safe, but don't put that big thing out there. And the, the power five is really the tool that can get you going. So I would love to know if you're willing to step into the power of five and give it a go for 30 days, because I, I, if, you, if you're not where you wanna be yet, there's some brain training that needs to happen. Now, this isn't the whole neural coaching that I do, but it is absolutely a great way to get your toes wet, to get in there and to try something that is, it, you gotta separate you and your ego and your pride and all the things that make us scared from the power five. It's just the power five and you're just doing it every day, but you gotta start with a good list. You gotta start with a powerful list, right? And whether it's clients or podcast interviews or people you want on your YouTube channel or clients you want to help with your coach or your health coaching business or if you're a life coach and you want to get more clients it's maybe putting maybe it's doing a live every day and and talking about what you do and then following up with people who have commented whatever it is for you and I'd be glad in the comments to give some feedback on on what potentially you could do for the power of five but I really want to see if you are willing to really advocate for your biggest calling and utilizing this power of five is a way you can because let me tell you you're always advocating for either your limiting beliefs or the things that are holding you back or or the biggest best version of yourself which is just in service of others so i'm really excited please tag me on socials and let me know if you're willing to try the power of five so in your socials, Instagram or Facebook, tag me and say, I'm in for the power of five. And if you think other people that you know have big visions and big callings, if, if you know they need this, then direct them this way to this little mini neuro coaching so that they can absolutely do this as well. So I love being with you today. Have an amazing day but I really would love to know what Power Five are you gonna do? Tag me on the socials. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.